Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome to a little game called Hang On. It was uh, made by Simon Reed, who was in this year's Adventure Jam. Uh, he made a game called the, the, the Treasure of Lock Inch, which I played in my Adventure Jam video. And he's uh, since made more games uh, in Adventure Game Studio. One of these is uh, Hang On. And, uh, you know, the Treasure of Lock Inch was a really cute little uh, treasure hunting game that I thought was really, well, cute. And uh, I have no doubt that Hang On is going to be more of the same. Uh, I actually met Simon at uh, Adventure X, and he's a supporter of uh, my Patreon, so he hangs out in my SQH backer Discord. He's uh, is a very nice, very nice young man, and uh, his games are uh, usually, <laughs> well, uh, speaking from the experience of having played one of them, uh, very good. So uh, I'm interested in getting into this. Also, the game just starts bang on when you start it. Just no menu screen, nothing. So I've, I've got it on pause right now. So let's activate the window. And get into it. There we go. Dear Denny, the view's just as incredible as the website promised. Alright, my face cam is obscuring this dialogue, but I'll read it. I guess it's a little isolated all the way over here, but so twa tranquil. <clears throat> it's been great to get out of the city and take some time to think things over. Hope the gig went well, and say hi to Jesse from me. Ooh, a gig. I'll bring back some of the local cheese. What the fuck's this guy doing? See you soon, buddy. Oh, he's just hang Martha XXX. Oh, it's not a dude. Okay, time to head down to the village and post this to Denny. Okay, so my first uh, puzzle is to post a letter. Very cute. And we just got a little preview of the inventory system here. This is very nice custom inventory shit. Uh, so it's one of those uh, left does right click uh, looks at things. So let's have a look at the postcard. My postcard to Denny. The picture shows the picture side shows the sorry peak of the troll spitze i see uh the the troll spire cool i didn't know we had one of those also this is a strange place let me just head outside and have a look holy shit look at this why is she, some fucking vacation spot is all i'm saying shelly i'm renting this place for the next week or so it's lovely, but I'm a little isolated all the way up here in the mountain. I would fucking figure. Also, what is preventing this house or chalet or whatever from just toppling over the side of the mountain? Um, anyway, let's go back inside because I am sure we're going to have to pick up some stuff. Like uh, this firewood. It's a pile of firewood for the stove. I'm going to have that. Nope, don't need to carry around logs. How about uh, have a look at the map? No, nope, we're going to leave the map. Peppermint tea. No, going to leave the tea. The Yeti of Trollspitze. Oh, so there's going to be a fucking Yeti in here as well. The Yeti of Trolls Pizza by Dr. Gaston Gregoire could be interesting. I'ma have it. There we go. Let's have a look in that. The Yeti of Trolls Pizza, yes. Some recent survivors of encounters with the creature have remarked upon its changeable temperament. It seems the Yeti is especially frightened of the call of the Golden Eagle, which is reasonably common to the mountainside. It doesn't sound like a common animal, but okay, fuck. What do I know? Also, snow globes. It's a snow globe depicting the summit of the Trollspitze with a little mountaineer planting a flag. I think I'll have that as well. And Schloss Adler. Are we in Germany, perhaps? Maybe we are in good old Deutschland, yeah. Hanging around the mountaintops with the fucking Trollspitze and the sheer cliffside and the, the looming death in the... Uh, yes, I'm, I'm gonna just go back inside again. Uh, anything else? Birds of Trollspitze. Have a look in that as well, by Klaus Rosa. It's a guide to all of the local bird life, fully illustrated. There are some stunning species here, yeah. Yeah, we love the species. What is Walden? The first edition of Walden, a life or life in the woods by Henry David Thoreau. Oh, a real book. I've already read it, so we don't get into copyright issues when we pick it up and read it. Casper David Friedrich, Schloss Adler, Peppermint Tea. I don't think she wants to pick up any of... Nah. Alright, cool. Candle, stove, uh, desk. It's a simple desk. Can I poke it? There's a portable tape recorder in the desk drawer. No cassette in it, though. Cool. I'll have a blue mug. <laughs> Adventure Game Studio. It's a blue ceramic mug, unremarkable to look at, but with a pleasant heft. So I can brain someone over the fucking head with it. Uh, we are picking up a an amazing amount of inventory items already. Can I pick up the stool too? I can fucking pick up the stool. Why am I... Why did she... she doesn't want to carry around firewood, but a fucking stool. She just jams that in her 
drawers or whatever. I can have both of these cups? Jesus, Simon, steady on, my friend. All right, so now that we are sufficiently bogged down with God, the, half of the fucking uh, contents of this chalet, uh, let's just go explore. The part of the mountain is well above the snow line, so let's have some snow! All right, we'll just pick up everything. How about this fucking sign? I'll have the sign, too. No? All right. Cool. Never mind. Uh, so let's go and post that fucking letter, shall we? It's the mechanism that pulls the cable car up. I'm a jam on this. Better not tamper with it. No, I want to jam the, uh, back the, the handle here. Well, I guess the cable car is already here, so I guess there's not really any guess reason for it. Guess, I guess. We should probably go and have a look in the cave. But let's just see what happens when we try and go down this. I'll bet there's a puzzle here some... Nope, nope, just takes us straight down. Okay, cave, you'll have to wait. This is very nice, though. Uh, you, you put a lot of effort into this. For a second there, I thought something spooky was going to happen because the game just sort of froze while it was changing the music or changing it into this ambient noisy thing. Emergency intercom. We don't really have an emergency this thus far, so... Uh, it's the village post box. The last collection for Thursday is at 4 p.m. Well, let's just mail this postcard and game over, I suppose. Okay, I've posted the postcard now. Cool. So, um... Game over, I guess? I like the village. Sleepy, but the locals seem welcoming. And has a wonderful bakery. Oh, good. Priorities. Um... Let's just, uh... Head back up. Okay, the music changed. Oh, fuck, it's the Yeti. <laughs> it's, it's quite the adorable Yeti. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna go poke with this. Ah, I'm a mischievous Yeti. Do, 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 do. My work here is done. Uh-oh. Now what? I don't know. Maybe we picked up enough shit to uh, actually get something done. Help! Yes, I will help you. I can hear you from all the way down here. Sound carries very well in this little German line. Okay, last collection of the day. And now I'm this jackass. Cool. Okay, I'll pick up the letter. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Not much post today. On postcard. And a little parcel. Yeah. Mm hmm, that's odd. Looks like there's something wrong with the cable car. I should probably go and uh, use the emergency intercom, but first I'm going to look at the info panel where all the information is. The Trollspitze was first climbed by Claude J. Jospin of the famous mountain climbing Jospin dynasty in 1845. In his memoirs, Claude claimed to have befriended an abominable snowman near the summit by giving the monster an ice pick to beat his fucking face in. The incident has since been ascribed to Claude's inadvertent consumption of psychotropic mushrooms during his ascent. <laughs> Fascinating. Yes, he was high off his fucking tits. All right, emergency intercom. What's what's calling Danny Boy? What? <laughs> what's what's calling Danny Boy? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Is everything all right out there? If you don't know, that's from an old war movie called, um, fuck, it'll, it'll come to me. No, the cable car got stuck. I just heard a sudden clang and it stopped here. I see. Listen, my name is Rita, so I really should have a higher voice. And I'm going to find a way to help you. Let me think. I'm going to just stand here and think for a bit. <laughs> oh, I have inventory. I have, a par oh, I have the parcel and postcard I picked up. Maybe we should commit some mail fraud and open the parcel. I don't usually open the mail, but perhaps it'll be something useful. It's a pair of very nice gardening gloves. There's a note with them. Dear Sylvie, happy birthday. I thought these would come in handy. Hope you have better luck with your e e next say this year. Yeah, yeah, hashtag und second language. Love from Scott. I'll hold on to the string from the parcel. So I didn't actually need to pick up the gloves, but yeah, the string ought to do it. Uh, the cable is the thing. That's the thick cable the cabin hang. The cabin hangs from. Yeah, this is the cabin. Stuck cable car. I can't reach it from here. On the mechanisms at the other shop. Uh, can I climb up this thing using the gloves? It's not gonna work that way, is it? Okay, I'll try to hang on to it with the gloves on. Fucking hey! Uh, I forgot your name already. I don't think I actually got the name, but that is some serious upper body strength you've got there. Do, 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 do. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, considering I'm trapped several thousand feet in midair in near freezing temperatures, about as well as could be expected. 
Uh, hey, why don't you take this stuff I've been carrying? Some of it might be useful. Yeah, just <laughs> burden the fucking guy now. Thanks, you sure know how to carry a lot of junk. Don't panic, I'll have this fixed in no time. Hang on. And off we fuck again, I guess. No? No? Did we go up here? Yeah, we go up to the ridge. And I'll we fix the uh, cable car mechanism. You would think there would be a, a, a corresponding mechanism uh, on the bottom bit, but... No, up to, no, it doesn't work that way in Germany, no. This is Germany, isn't it? I don't fucking know at this point. There's no point in me fiddling with it until I put the missing gear back. So we need the gear, yes. Um, oh, hey, 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 there's something in the snow over here. I wonder if it's an ice pick that I can use to befriend. So there's something poking out of the snow here. It's one of those walking poles. Someone must have dropped it. God, the inventory is getting big and unruly at this point. Um, it's a telescopic walking pole used for mountain trekking. Aha. So, what do I do? Do I just... What, how do I fix this thing? Um, Alright, I'll, I'll go have a look in the cave. I, I guess um, the Yeti, now fast asleep from all its jovial mis mischievousness. And there is the cock, the gear, yeah. That's the gear that's missing from the cable car mechanism. Can you actually see the gear? Yeah, I'm not obscuring that. He's also got a little boombox. Yet he seems to have stashed a stolen stereo in one of the nooks over there. Don't need to take it. Besides, the Yeti is right there. All right, I'm gonna go uh, steal this. No, I think I should wait until the Yeti's left before I try to take that. Oh, there's a little tunnel. And what happens if I poke the Yeti? No, I don't know if it's a good idea to wake him. I quite like having all of my limbs attached. Okay, I'll go hide in this. I'm a little claustrophobic. I don't fancy squeezing into... Well, you're just being really obnoxious then. Can I squeeze into the tunnel? No, the Yeti is right there. Um, so what does the Yeti fancy, I wonder? Uh, does he fancy anything I can pick up from... Hello, bird of prey. Oh, that's right. They really like the birds. I've got an... In it's got an interesting call. So I will tape its call, but I don't have a tape to put in the machine. Uh, maybe if I could... Maybe, maybe there's a tape hiding in here somewhere. Uh, is it hiding in the firewood, perhaps? Or in the desk? It's empty. Uh, is it hiding in the peppermint tea? No. I might read it later because I've just broken into the fucking cabin. Yeah. Um, no. No. Stove? No. Alright. Cool. Never mind. Is there anywhere else I can go? Oh, wait. I have an idea. Of course. Uh, the boombox must have a cassette in it, even though. It's very small, doesn't look like it has a castet, but ca castet, yes, that's the new word for it. The walking pole is an extendable thing, so maybe, no, I thought I'd just, you know, scooch over and click that thing and out pops the cassette tape and no. Uh, stool, can I do anything? Wait, I'll tie the string to the walking pole. I don't see how tying the string to that would help. How about the uh, stool? No? Well, at least I know I'm supposed to tie it to something. How about I just chuck the snowball in his face? No, that seems risky. I wonder if there's a way I can scare him off. Scare him off, eh? Hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> the snow globe? Oh, wait, the snow globe is quite heavy, actually. I think the miniature mountain is made of lead. Did I just chuck that in his face? No. Oh, hey, ho, ho, that, that's a, a bit of pixel hunting, I guess. But there's actually a gap in the floorboards here. Looks like there's something down in the gaps between the boards. Might it be a cassette tape? I wonder. I can't quite reach what's down there. Um, but the uh, <clears throat> snow globe, sorry, bit of a tickle in the throat there, is magnetic. Well, it was made of iron or metal or whatever. There's something down there, but I need something longer to reach it. Maybe the extendo poly thing. I think I can just about reach it with this pole. 
got it. It's a tiny cassette. Something's written 12417 Yeti sighting on the label in a hurried scrawl. Well, let's just have a listen to this thing first. Okay, put the tape in. Let's see what's on it. We've tracked the Yeti to his lair. It is just along the ridge from the cable car station. We were able to follow the beast immediately after the theft of our radio. Fucking. <laughs> he seems to have a habit of hoarding metallic objects there. Ah, snow globe. I have taken the decision that any further investigation would be far too risky. I enjoy having my feet attached to my legs. We all saw what happened, what that monster did to Artie. Uh, once this blizzard passes, we will retrieve his remains and return to base camp remains, eh? That took a grisly turn. That's all there is. Interesting. I should, I could record over this now if I ever need to. Yes, it's not like that has any significant value whatsoever. No. No. Okay, so we tie the string to the tape recorder because I noticed you could do that earlier. He said, no, we need a tape and the fucking tape recorder before we do that. I've attached the tape recorder to the end of the string and now I will tape this birdie thing. Yes. Okay, I'll hit record and dangle this thing near the eagle. Doop, 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 doop. It's a very pleasant squawk, really. Got it. Sounds kind of like a sad puppy. Alright, let's go and uh, play our jams for uh, Mr. Yeti. Who should then <laughs> bolt out of there and possibly tear whatever he finds in his path to utter shreds, but uh, we'll see. Tape deck. Hello. And he goes, oh, fuck no. <gasps> Oh, well, he just ran off. Wow, it worked. All right, I can have... No, oh, extendo pole? That won't help me get... It will. You can get a fucking cassette tape out of a, you know, piece of broken floorboard. You can reach up and grab that, but okay. I'll put the stool down. I said I'll put the stool... You piece of shit. Don't need to take the boombox. Don't want to go in there. Don't want to go... The Yeti went that way because I don't want to risk running into him. All right, all right. Um, why do I have two blue mugs? I, these these are questions that will never be answered. Do I just chuck a snowball at it? No. How about it, this thing? No. All right, back to the fucking drawing board. Oh, there's a stalactite here. I'd better leave it alone. It looks like it's ready to fall at any moment. Maybe if I poke it and prod it and generally make it feel like a piece of meat. It's not long enough for me to reach that crack in the stalactite. Really? Okay. Uh, maybe I just chug a snowball at it? Yeah, there you go. That didn't seem to have much effect. Well, you're a fucking useless throw then. Maybe if I chuck the blue mug at it. There you go, that's one, and that's why I'm carrying two, that's two, boom, there you go, I just climb up, it's too high for me to climb, what are you, fucking mental, you had the upper body strength to pull yourself up a fucking cable car track, but you can't just reach up and do, what, who are you, the fucking quake guy, come on, alright, put the stool down, that should help me reach the gear, excellent, can we do, I can't, f I, I am seriously losing my shit with you, alright, are you, Pissing kidding me. Crap the fuck. Okay, I can't reach it from here? You utter cockmonger. Alright, here we go. Got it. Now to get down and get mauled. There you go. Well, that ought to do it. Game over, right? So I'm just carrying around the snow globe and these other million inventory items for nothing, I guess. There we go. Boom. It's working again. Oops, she fell down. Never mind. Victory music! Thank you so much, Rita. Ah, it was nothing. I also forgot I was a woman. Sorry, I gave it the wrong voice again. Nice to have an excuse to explore the mountain a little, really. You never do these things when they're right on your doorstep. How would you like to come over for some, for some peppermint tea? Sure! And then the Yeti is already sitting inside. Mod. Thank you for playing Hang On, created by Simon Reed for the Max Competition. A theme about rescue. Okay, that was neat. I like the Anna just fucking up and quits on you. <laughs> okay, I really like that. Uh, Simon is is doing some good stuff. He's really um, he's really getting in there. I, I think uh, the Treasure of Lock Inch was his uh, first game, and this was his second game, and he's got a third game called Moonlight Moggy, where you play as a cat. Uh, might want to uh, get into that at some point. But anyway, I will leave a link to his Game Jolt page in the description below, so you can go and check this uh, guy out for yourself. Um, so that was cute, wasn't it? 
I had a good old time. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do. Do leave me a comment because, as you know, I dearly love the comments. So thank you, and um, hey, I'll see you some other time. And until then, around the Chrono Stream.